Hey guys, the Gaming Geek here and welcome to this week's episode of the Weekly Roundup. Hopefully you guys have had a good week and enjoyed all the content so far, but let's get started. As you may know, Microsoft bought Skype last year, and since then they've been trying to bring it into their family. They've changed the logo a little bit to look more like Windows 8, and the next move really with that is to move it into the Xbox. So the plans uh, have, that have been um, leaked kind of, or talked about by Microsoft, is that Skype will be moving onto the Xbox and replacing Xbox Live Chat. So rather than you know um, just using the normal chat service, you'll be able to use Skype, uh, using your Xbox Live ID or possibly your current Skype ID and you can not only chat with people on the Xbox but you should be able to chat with other people on the PC, on their mobiles or anywhere else where you can use a Skype client which is really really cool. Uh, at the minute you can have limited to the two that person has to be on the Xbox and let's be honest the quality of uh, the Xbox Live chat isn't very good. You can have one of the best mics out there and the quality still cuts out and still sounds like you've bought a £10 microphone from a local um, store. So hopefully this improves the quality, maybe we may see a video uh, chat at the same time as well, who knows, but uh, it's a good move nonetheless. You may have heard that HMV, an entertainment store selling DVDs, Blu-rays, video games and headphones, went into administration last week and in the same week two potential buyers have seemed to come forward, one of them being one of the most unlikely people and that is Game, a video game store like GameStop as you have in the US. Now they are saying that they may take on 43 out of the 250 stores that HMV have and possibly it's rumoured that they may create some sort of superstore using the game franchise they own and the HMV franchise, combining them both together, create one massive superstore and that could work pretty well. But, you know, Game is a dying franchise at the minute, and they have went into administration themselves not that long ago last year, and had to be bought out of uh, the problems. So they're really not in a good situation, so it may be a bad idea for them, or it may work out pretty well, depending on what plans they have exactly. But also, the owners of HMV Canada have also been rumoured to possibly buy some of the stores, uh, no idea how many, no numbers have been thrown around, but some of the stores, uh, which could possibly work. Um, you know, it was rumoured when Game went into administration that GameStop may buy some of the stores, so it could work, it could not, only time will tell, but uh, it's not looking good at the moment for HMV, they had to close their online store. You can still go in the store and buy stuff by the way if you're ever wondering, but uh, we'll have to wait and see I guess. Now let's talk about some rumours to do with the PS4 and 720. Apparently they're going to be announced around March this year, around the time of GDC rather than E3. Now although they're saying around the time of GDC, they're also saying at the same time that it's unlikely to be on the main conference stage uh, where they do all the other announcements at GDC itself, but maybe in a more private PlayStation and, and uh, Microsoft meeting. Uh, outside of GDC where they may announce this rather than you know in GDC itself so it's all up in the air who knows it may be good to, uh, to be able to announce it in March so then by E3 maybe they'll have you know some games to talk about and be able to talk about more of the features in depth you know just get the excitement going at March where people are really raring to go for E3 I want to find out more about it it could work really well it's kind of a tactic that Nintendo with the Wii U did uh, it didn't work too well for them, but to be honest, people are st were still kind of excited for the possible announcement of the PS4 and the 720. That you know their focus was more on that rather than what Nintendo had to bring to the table. But who knows? I guess we're gonna have to wait and see about this one. Another rumor uh, could be true, could not. I'm only reporting on it. Nothing has been confirmed yet. Although someone from Sony did say, did hint, let's say. Uh, about them, there possibly being an announcement before E3. Not saying exactly what the announcement was about, but they said a, a big announcement uh, before E3, possibly a month or two beforehand. So, who knows? But I guess we have to wait and see. Talking about next generation, now apparently Sony are dropping DualShock in the next console and going for more of a touchscreen design like the Wii U had. It could be true, it could be false. Uh, just keep in mind that on each generation of console for um, Sony, they tried a numerous amount of designs and prototypes and stuff before they settled on going back to what they'd always had done. You know, for the PS3, they did try something completely different and tried to see if it worked, did numerous prototypes, that didn't work and they, you know, they stuck with the, the, the PlayStation controller you have now. So it could just be that, but it's supposed to have a touch 
uh, control pads in it somewhere, it's a control screen, and also have a lot of biometric sensors and things like that in the actual grips themselves. So who knows, you know, maybe the, the biometric sensors may go into the final production of the controller. Uh, hopefully not the touchscreen. I really don't want to see them go down a Wii U route. I want to just stick with the standard controller we've always known and loved and uh, kind of maybe improve on that a little bit. You know, add the sensors and things like that so that it's more flexible in what it can do. But I don't think a touchscreen is the way to go. Um, I don't think it's panning out too well for the Wii U. But it may work out well for the Wii U if Sony also went down that route because if developers have kind of got to already make a game that's compatible with a touchscreen, they've then got two consoles that they can benefit uh, from that. So it could work well, it could not. Who knows? Let me know what you think though on the comment section down below. So that's all I have for you guys this week. Not been a lot of news, more rumours than anything else. But um, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like button. Link subscription to everything I talked about this week. And subscribe for uh, more content, more regular content. I'm doing a video every single day, so you'll always get something to watch. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you very, very soon. As always, drink tea and game on.